Yes, welcome to Hen House Studios Live. Today we're going to have a video show for you once again, and I've brought some helpers along. We have Noah, Jeremy, Sam, and Maya. That's right, Hen House Studios is a free recording studio located here in Venice, Marina del Rey area. Okay, guys, how you, how's everybody feeling today? Everyone Great. feeling good? Yes. Yeah. Feeling good? Okay, well, let's just cut to the chase. Our, our, today we have a very interesting show. We have a lot of independent bands. The first band is called Steed, which is a band that's from Hollywood, California. Very artistic band. They have like a country rock sound. And uh, Maya is going to actually set up our first clip for us today. Here we go, Maya. Our first feature video, the band Steed. So let's roll the tape. You guys ready in there to roll the tape? Okay, we're ready. All right, here we go. My name's Aaron. I'm in a band called Steed. This is the working name of the band so far. Um, that's Nick, he plays drums. And this is James, he plays bass. I sing and play guitar and write music. You telling me to waste all my precious time and again. But I feel like Karina is a backup singer. She's an amazing singer. She has a beautiful voice. Short notice to see him again. But why? It feels like forever without you. Fighting your life. You, you distract my I would say we're nothing that you've ever heard before. It's country, but it's not country pop. It's not something you'll hear on 93.9. It gives it a, a new sound when you put keyboards and a girl singer to it. It has a lot of Neil Young and old Jackson Brown and uh, James Taylor influence, but it's, it doesn't sound like anything else. I just like country music. I started listening to, you know, folk records and Bob Dylan and, you know, early uh, Hank Williams and, and stuff like that. I pretty much grew up on punk rock, so um, it's, uh, it's kind of different. Cool. I try and write a song every day of my life. I know people that uh, it takes, you know, six months or something to to write one song and it seems like I can write, you know, it come, it's, it's like second nature, you know, writing the, the verse and the chorus and then figuring out like a bridge or something. Another song called Fine, and it's an AA expression. When you say you're fine in AA, it just means basically that you're f***ing insane and neurotic. Because nobody's just fine, you know, there's, there's emotions that, that people are feeling that they don't actually want to tell you about because they just come out and, you know, say that they're fine, but that's what that's about. Say goodbye, alone, not surprised, it's you.
found out about Hen House about a year ago because I was looking to find someone who could, where I can record a demo and where I can do it pretty cheap. And a friend of ours, Maria Vidal, said, hey, I know this guy that records bands for free, and free is as cheap as it gets. The time I would find you on the floor No more silent, I really didn't care Battling compulsion, it wasn't really fair This is how I'll say goodbye Although I'm not surprised, it's you Well, I'll always do music, no matter what. It'd be nice to to make a living at doing it, you know? Like I'm not, I don't think I want to be on Rolling Stone magazine or, or be a big rock star, but you know, if it comes my way, I'm not gonna scream, you know what I mean? Alone and then you'll never cry again. Yes, that was Steed, Hen House Studios Live. Hey, Noah, what's the Hen House saying? Hear the music, see the stories. That's right, Hen House Studios Live, where we do hear the music and see the stories. Our next band is this uh, very, very incredible singer named Melanie Hirsch, who's originally from the west side of Los Angeles, but has since moved to Colorado and has been touring all around the United States, singing her folk guitar, uh, acoustic guitar-based songs. An incredible young woman with an incredible talent for writing songs and a great voice as well. Uh, Sam, I think you're going to set up this video for us, aren't you? Here we go. <clears throat> Our next video clip is about singer <coughs> Melanie Hirsch. So if you're ready, roll the tape. You guys ready? I'm Melanie Hirsch and I'm 24 years old. I started playing guitar when I was 15. I was inspired to play because I went to like sleepaway summer camp. All the cool counselors played guitar and they would sing their songs. So I picked it up and, and right away I started writing my own songs, like I think week two. I just couldn't help myself but to just start expressing myself through the music. So this is a song I wrote about um, ending a relationship. <laughs> you may not understand I've been writing songs since I was 15. It's sort of in my outlet for my emotions. Happening for a Reason is a song I wrote when I got to LA. I was just sitting in my little apartment going, why, why am I here? I was feeling low and I just decided I needed to write a song. You know, trying to be a positive reinforcement, like you're here and it's for a reason and to trust, you know, and to believe that there's a greater purpose behind this. And you may not understand it right now, but you know, you just gotta keep going with it and stay positive. Another sunset. I don't know why I'm here Shouldn't I be on some mountain top Sitting around the fire With my friends Watching the stars My first studio experience, which I'm still involved in now, is at the Hen House. You were um, wavering a lot with the <laughs> <laughs> click track. For real. Yeah, I felt like I was in slow motion. I was like, where the f 
am I? Like, I was somewhere else. <laughs> you were in the Caribbean under the sun. I was. I was having a good time, too. I thought I'd be, like, intimidated in that environment, but it's just, like, mellow, cool atmosphere. <laughs> Ready to take one. <laughs> Okay, you sound like Beavis about it. Okay. Who, me? <laughs> yeah, you're like, uh. <laughs> hard on yourself. That's a song I wrote because I've been talking on the phone with my friends and we were always so hard on ourselves. It was like, I should have done that and, you know, oh, I'm doing it all wrong. Everyone was just like beating ourselves down for not being perfect. We're human. We all make mistakes. We live and we learn. So that's what that's about. Why'd you go through these changes? You keep coming back here. You've got so much love in your heart, but all you act on is fear. You can't enjoy something new when you've got staleness. Deep inside It's nothing to be ashamed of, dear We all hang on a little too long sometimes I'm writing songs and I'm playing music because I love it, because it's my passion. It just takes time. It would be amazing to be able to make a living off of it. I, I don't expect that, but if that were to happen, hell, that'd be, you know, that'd be a dream come true, you know? Yes, Melanie Hirsch on Hen House Studios Live, incredible talent. Our next artist is actually a Frenchman who moved to Venice Beach and is very inspired by Jim Morrison and the Doors and is sort of, you know, following, trying to follow their footsteps. Uh, a really talented, you know, young Frenchman who's you know, actually adopted quite well to the beach culture really fast here in Venice. And I think, uh, Jeremy, you're going to set up this next clip. Our next video is about the music of Spun Smith. So when you're ready, roll the clip. Here we go. Roll the clip for Spun Smith. Uh, hey there, my name is Spun Smith. I um, kind of sing and play the guitar a little bit. <laughs> no, that's the name that was given to me because uh, I'm out there, you know. Spun, yeah, out there, you know, spinning. Spun Smith is the name I chose for myself as opposed to the name that my parents gave me, which is Confidential Top Secret. <laughs> Uh, we're here on Venice Beach. It's very horsey, would you say? It's one of the coolest spots in the US. And uh, everyone is kind of like, you know, special. There's a lot of weird people down there. And This is Jim Morrison, who came to die in Paris, a couple of blocks from where my parents live. You're not my this is Kurt Cobain. No. I'm so loaded. You're my lover now. My name is Scott Mackey, playing guitars. I've been managing uh, a building right by the beach for going on almost nine years now. Right? Yeah, he moved in about six years ago, so we've known each other for a while. I 
I've watched him uh, progressing in his music and going through different bands and all the trials and tribulations that somebody goes through when they come out to LA and attempt to make it in the music biz. And, yeah, this is the first time we've really worked together. Well, I'm trying to make him feel good and bribe him and stuff, so yeah, I don't have to pay the rent and I can make some noise and stuff. But you know, guitarist is a guitarist after all. Do you know? And there is uh, Kentaro, who's a, a bass player from Japan, who is really good and really fun. Oh, how it feels. You're on your own. I used to be French, but I quit. Actually, I'm still trying to quit. It's kind of difficult, but I think I'm doing good. That's the American flag because I'm happy to be here. I enjoy it and America is great. American people are really cool. LA and Venice Beach seem to be a logical spot for a musician like me to chill on the beach and play some music. To surf creates some kind of a rhythm, like the rhythm of the universe or something, you know? That wave thing. It's like the om, 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 that never stops. Yes, Spun Smith from France all the way to Venice Beach. So Noah, let's let's hear that Henhouse sang again. Hear the music, see the stars. That's right. We're Henhouse Studios Live. If you want to know more about us, please watch the end credits. We have contact information. We'd love to hear from you and get your input. Our next artist is Kim Michalowski, a beautiful young singer from Boston who now lives in Venice Beach, hangs out a lot on a street called Abbott Kinney, super talented urban folk artist. And Sam, I think you're going to set up this uh, clip for us. Next we have a video clip about Kim from Venice Beach. So when you're ready, roll the clip. That's right, Kim Michalowski, roll the clip. My name is Kim Michalowski and I perform under my name. I use different musicians um, at different times. I like to have a full band, but sometimes it's hard to keep it all together, so I perform out by myself a lot. I've recorded three songs at the Hen House. I've recorded um, Sweet Sound. Sweet Sound to me is inspiration. And in Inspiration usually comes to me as music, or through me as music, or to my ears as music. So it's a sweet sound. The first line is always hoping you'll come around, you know, because a lot of times it's, you know, it's a desert. <laughs> always hoping you come around. Invite me over, you would invite me. Take a breath. So it's, it's sort of a calling of that, of the inspiration and, you know, that whatever, if you want to call it God or just the vitality, your vitality, inspiration. That's a blessing in this fire and it's got to show me, it's got to show me it's the sweet sound and it's sweet. Putting together the song or the, the creation of a song it for me takes time because I'll start writing and I have one perspective and sometimes I haven't really figured out emotionally what it is that I'm trying to say or that situation hasn't resolved itself so there's no completion and I like to have, to have the full circle of a thought or something that I'm going through so sometimes it takes months and sometimes there's pieces of songs that are years old that I'll go back to years later and finish because I've gone through the cycle myself, whatever that song is. And uh, it makes sense in my mind. Growing up, I listened to a lot of rock and roll, American pop radio. That was, I was in Syracuse, New York, so I wasn't exposed to, you know, world music. I didn't even know other things existed. So um, I listened to a lot of Rolling Stones, 
and Leonard Skinner and Fleetwood Mac and um, that kind of stuff growing up. The only thing that saved my ass was music. It was, the, it was literally the only thing I had. My childhood was pretty bleak. And, uh, and I'm not being, trying to be melodramatic or any, anything like that. But uh, every dollar I had, I walked to the mall and bought an album, you know, when they were albums. <laughs> and, uh, and I would just shut my door and listen to music. And that's all I did. I'd run away and go see shows, because I was 12, 13, I think, when I went to my first show, and my parents didn't think I was old enough to go to a, you know, a concert, and um, now they're gonna know. But I would run away. I would run away and go far. I, mean, I would go to the next city, you know, five or six hours away, and, uh, you know, not come home, just to go to a show and get punished and grounded and all that kind of stuff, just to go to a show. So the third song I recorded was Fruit, and Fruit, that came in one spell, <laughs> one shot, that was, that was good. Um, Fruit is about when um, I was unsure about re leaving a relationship with somebody that I loved, and because it's easy to leave things that aren't good for you, or things that, are, that you may see as negative or whatnot, but when you really love somebody, you still feel like you may want to leave, and that's what the song is about. My, my goal as far as the recordings of the songs, I'm finishing a full CD. I think it's gonna be nine songs when it's done. So I have bits and pieces from other studios and other recordings that I'm, I'm putting together. And I'm gonna have one final CD and uh, play more shows, sell CDs, go on the road. Um, I'm an independent artist now, so um, unless that changes, I'll be doing everything myself. Um, for me in Los Angeles, having a band, being a performer, recording, being out there and not having any kind of representation or management or label support or anything like that, it costs you money. You have to uh, get rehearsal spaces and make flyers and um, pay musicians and uh, so it costs money to play music, to keep it going. I, mean, I made money off of gigs, but it's usually money I'm just recouping that I've already put out in order to do the show. I do my best to not read the magazines or watch television or watch any, you know, VH, VH1, MTV, and any of that, um, because it's very damaging for me. It changes the whole thing. It, it takes something that is very sacred and uh, makes it um, something else. I still go to shows all the time. Haven't stopped. <laughs> Same person. Haven't stopped. And as far as advice, um, you just have to persevere. And um, it doesn't matter what your family says or what your friends say or what your environment is telling you. Uh, You got that little voice inside that you have to follow. 
gotta follow it. So. Yes, yeah, one of my favorite artists from Hen House, Kim Michalowski. Great, talented, and highly emotional woman, as you could see from that clip. I'd like to take this time to thank everybody for tuning in and watching Hen House Studios Live, and I'd like to thank our special guests today, Noah, Jeremy, Sam, and Maya, who are actually all related, two sets of twins here. You guys have fun today? Yeah. All right, you guys were great. Um, anyway, please, you know, tune in, look for us. So we're, we're going to be, you know, this playing all over the United States, so check it out. Our, our next clip comes from a very talented, our, our last clip, comes from a very talented woman named Kristen Vigard, who now lives in New York, is originally from New York, and she was in, uh, actually Annie on Broadway, and is, is sung with Fishbone and with the Red Hot Chili Peppers on Records in Live, and Noah's going to set up our last clip. Our last video comes from Kristen Vigard from New York. So if you guys are ready, in the roll tape, in their roll tape. Roll the tape, guys. Here it comes. Okay, we're rolling now. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Let me know when it's over. Okay. I can open my eyes. Let me know when it's over. I can take one more surprise. Got a hole in my pocket. To date, I've used all my juice. Tried every trick. Used up my best excuse. Could it be something that I said? Could it be something loose inside my head? Let me know. Let me know when we're moving. Standing still far too long. Everyone that I see is singing the sweet old same old sad song Sweetly, slowly, something I've never known before Let me know when it's over, I'll get up off the floor Whoops. <laughs> Oh yeah, nice, she's chewing on the cord here Hey, hey, okay, no teeth though so it's